and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. Today I am fulfilling a request from one of my channel members. Thank you, McKenna, for the suggestion. We are going to remodel some of my villager homes here on Lorien. I feel like some of these, some of these babies definitely deserve to have better homes. So I'm going to focus on the cat neighborhood. If you missed it, this is the cat neighborhood. I will try to remember to link the video above in case you want to watch it. And here is the map. They are the four houses to my right and they belong to Kiki, Rudy, Raymond, and Lolly. That is also the order in which we will decorate the houses. I'm really excited. I've never decorated. Okay, one of my one of my concerns is that I'm not sure how it works to decorate a villager's home. Like, is it like Happy Home Paradise where you have the whole catalog or like Harv's Island where you have the whole catalog and you can use however many furniture items as you want? Or do you have to have all of the items in your storage? I'm not sure. That's my primary concern here, but let's go ahead and talk to Tom Nook. I was about to walk into resident services when I realized Lolly was singing and I would let you hear it, but um, I accidentally recorded the audio twice, so instead you get my voice. But look how cute she is, right? Am I right? Okay, you know, I've got to do Kiki first, so we're going to get into that with Tom Nook, but while I'm getting this ready, do you ever feel like... Uh, you, this might be the first video of mine you've ever seen, in which case, you know, just like skip forward 20 seconds or something. But for those of you who watch multiple of my videos, do you ever feel like my voice is really different? Because sometimes I listen back to my own videos and I'm like, who is that? Like, I don't do anything. I'm not doing a voice intentionally, but sometimes my voice sounds really deep. And other times it sounds how I imagine it sounds like normal to me. Anyway, that's just really tripping me out. I heard my own voice on a video today and I was like, who is that? Who is that? It was me though. Um, but yeah, so let's let's get into this. Let's go decorate for Kiki uh, and not have any sort of breakdown, preferably. I knew I was gonna speed up the actual build section, so I didn't talk during them. And I guess I could have left you all in just like 20 minutes of silence for the rest of the video as I decorate. But here I am as voiceover Lex, hopefully with the same voice. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna talk you through my decisions here. So Kiki obviously deserves the best possible room. Looking back at it, I don't think I gave her the best possible room. I feel like I really got into the groove as I was going. So maybe I should have done Kiki last so as to have like the best design ideas at the end because I really feel like I I did the best for Raymond and Lolly. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna analyze as we go through this. So my thinking is that I wanted to give her like a brown themed house because brown it turns out is her favorite color. Like wow, you go girl. I thought that it was red and orange when I first started the build. So I had already kind of pictured in my head that it was gonna be a red and orange build. So we're gonna try I'm gonna try to work in here a lot of different red and orange items. Um I try a lot of different furniture that just does not look good. We end up changing some of the layout. I don't know why I did those two um, partition walls. I forgot about how accent walls exist, so I feel like I was going to do some kind of accent wall in the back. I remember later in the video, spoiler alert, but I didn't remember here. So I just have those partition walls. They're just adding, you know, some depth to the room, I guess. But as you can see, I'm trying to work in some orange here. I love the Paradise planning cushion, so I was really excited to get to use that. I tried out this TV with VCR, and then I was like, that's ugly. So we're going to try to find something else, and look at that. Look at that cute record player. I actually also discovered that that's what I'm doing now in the video. I'm searching. I'm Googling on my phone right now. I found out that Kiki likes KK Country, which not a country stan here so no to that but she also likes uh only me so i did that music for her home i didn't even listen to it so i hope only me is good but i thought you know she loves it and that's what matters the very most one thing i was thinking is that i hope when you redecorate their homes you know how they place clothing items you give them like not all of them but in general they'll place the clothing that you give them i hope that me redecorating her home doesn't take away her crown that I gave her. I gave her a little crown and she looks so cute in it and I know I got rid of it at the beginning of designing her house. So I'm like, mm, I really hope I see her in that crown still because she looks like the queen that she is. Anyway, here we are. I'm trying to incorporate a kitchen in the back to kind of match with the fact that there's soup on that little low shelf. So I've got this like 
pizza oven, I guess. It's called a brick oven, I think. I put that in there because I felt like the colors really vibed with the room and I put a ranch cupboard on the other side because I thought it was cute, so. And here I am trying to decide on a rug. I'm just kind of all over the place with this build. But yeah, in general, that's what we're going for. I want to keep it simple. She is a normal villager. She has a passion for reading and writing. I meant to include some kind of writing desk for her, but I just didn't even think about it. By the time I was finished with this build, I was like, wow, that took ages. So I was honestly just kind of happy to have it done. That sounds sad. Like I didn't put my all into it. I did. I would do anything for Kiki, but yeah. So that's what we're working with. I always struggle to set apart rooms like this in terms of like, where does her bed go? I was trying in the beginning to make sure all of the villagers had uh, DIY benches. I couldn't remember if those were required or not. It turns out they're not, but I thought that they probably were. So I do try to work in a bench as well. How cute is that pattern for the bed, by the way? Look at it. It's one of the ones you get from Sable. That's not like a custom design. And I thought it really matched her vibe. Anyway, I'll stop talking for now and just let you all vibe with the music for a bit, but I hope you can kind of get my process for Kiki. We're thinking browns, we're thinking reds, we're thinking oranges, we're thinking keeping it simple and cute for her. As you can see, I finally admitted my mistake and I'm getting rid of the wall partitions in the back, kind of making it where I can use wall decor. That was the main thing for me. I was like, these walls literally look identical to the ones behind them, except I can't even decorate the walls. Not worth it. So I'm kind of getting more into the decor part of this build. I feel like the general room situation is set up now appropriately. It's looking cute on the ground. We've just got to give it some detail. We've got to add character to the room so that it doesn't feel empty despite the fact that it's kind of full. I also experimented with the different sides of this like kitchen area, but in the end, I do end up going with symmetry with the gyroids. I just feel like that was the best decision. Every other decor I tried kind of was off-putting. It didn't really match with Kiki's aesthetic. It didn't really match my aesthetic. No one was winning except for, okay, so no one actually was winning. But it's okay, because I figured it out and went from there. I hope you enjoy the rest of this little build for Kiki. I'm actually kind of proud of it. Like, it's better than what she had before, which was still cute. She had like a retro groovy thing going on with her orange wallpaper and stuff. But I feel like this is still an upgrade. And I feel like it matches with the neighborhood too. That was another goal I had. Not exactly, but I did want them to kind of go together with the exteriors of the homes, which if you don't remember from the beginning, we've got like brown and beige tones because there's like beige ground tiles outside as the pathing. So yeah, I also added this little hoodie. I always forget to add clothing, but this was so cute. Also, I said I hope you enjoy the rest of the Kiki build, but at this point we're at the end of it. I'll let you appraise it check it out this was the final room i took some pictures but i forgot to get before pictures of her room i was gonna make this the thumbnail but you win some you lose some and now we are going into rudy's house rudy is right beside kiki because their houses were doppelganger house whoa they were doppelganger houses and so i always tried to place them beside each other before i edited their exteriors and i was like you know i'll just keep them together anyway i feel like it's cute they're like best friends so let's get into working on rudy's house So Rudy already had a really cute theme going on. I almost felt bad just for redecorating because look at how cohesive it is. Bro is a little interior designer and I love how the little like throwback mitt chair matches the fact that he's a jock. 
But anyway, we are gonna try to keep the greens in play here. I feel like he deserves that from us. So I actually will let you vibe with the music as I work on figuring out wallpaper and starting to lay out what sort of furniture I want for his room. This is in fact where I remembered that accent walls exist, so I was trying to make it work as a doorway for Rudy so that he could see outside. Here I am kind of looking to see if I have any windows, and I did, but I didn't think that they fit the vibe. Like, this is a very brown and green room, not white. So I tried everything. This is so bad. Some of the things I tried were so bad. But anyway, I was trying to board up the sky area because it didn't make sense for there to be like this fence door at the bottom and then for the tops just be open air. I even tried, see, here I am trying the drapery and it doesn't work. I think I just kind of decide that it's fine. But yeah, so that's the vision. I wanted him to be able to see outside, kind of like a balcony situation, but just a doorway with this fence. And for the rest of the build, I just want to keep it pretty earthy and natural tones. Again, we want to match the beige and brown outside, but I also wanted to honor Rudy since he clearly loved having green in his home. So yeah, enjoy me trying to strike a balance there between the aesthetic I want them to have and the aesthetic I think that Rudy wants to have. I feel like by the end of this build, I was really getting kind of nitpicky. I never feel like my interiors look good, so I play around with them a ton. I did want to make sure here that Rudy had his snacks that he deserves, so I gave him some chips and some ramen. Look at him go. I just feel like... I don't know. I know he's not a lazy and that's who I would usually associate with snacks, but even though he's a jock, he has like kid feels, especially because of the way his room was decorated before. He, it was kind of like kid core esque. So I was like, you know, he deserves some snacks. He works out a lot. He needs to have that extra fuel. I think it's really cute how it's coming together and I don't know. I feel like this was a cool little practice to have because. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you can change the room sizes for villagers on your island. I didn't even try because I was so convinced that you couldn't. But yeah, so I think it was a good little challenge since I'm used to being able to customize everything pretty fully as far as interiors go. This is the finished product now that I'm kind of moving the mini DIY bench around. I didn't actually like take film of this room. But yeah, so here's Raymond. I 
jumped right in with this one. Like I said in the beginning, I think that this is where I truly got into the groove with Raymond and with Lolly. I'm really proud of their rooms, most of all. I mean, I enjoyed Kiki and Raymond's houses, both of them, and I don't feel like I did a bad job with either of them. Like, they're vibing. It's better than what they had, but I really liked Raymond's. I feel like his is sort of a studio apartment vibe, but I did add these walls to kind of create a more dynamic space. I was getting tired of working with just a straight up square room. So that kind of eliminated a couple of blocks. And look at that, it looks very cute. So now I'm gonna create rooms using what I've got left here. I was legitimately just sitting here watching the speed build as it was happening, thinking, wow, it's been a while since the video person spoke. And then I remembered that that's literally, that's me. That's my job. I always watch my speed builds back in real time as I'm doing the voiceover for the videos. I mean, that I do a voiceover post filming for. I always watch them back in like real time. I mean, like they're sped up still. So you know what I mean? I watch them back as you guys would be watching them. And that way I can figure out like when the viewer or in my case, me would be, you know, kind of getting disinterested. And then I like pop back in and say something. So I try to judge it based on that instead of just guessing. And yeah, I was just sitting here watching the speedboat go on. And I was like, wow, starting to wonder where she went. That was some, that was some dissociation right there. But anyway, I wanted to talk about my concept for this room. So, you know, Raymond's default house in Animal Crossing is his office. This man never gets away from work. He's always working. And so I wanted to give him a house that could function kind of like a lodge in the mountains, you know? So I also, I did include a work, like an essay set and a laptop because I was like, I don't feel like he could relax if he didn't have access to his work stuff just in case. You know what I mean? You know how sometimes you just don't feel comfortable being away from your phone or your computer or something if you're like working on an important project. That's the vibe I was getting. So I was like, okay, we'll include something for him here so that he doesn't feel stressed out. Like if he needs it, he can work. Also, the hardest part of this build was definitely picking the dining room furniture. I just gave him this little kitchen system. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. It's just a vacation place. But where was he gonna sit and eat? It's improper to eat on the couch. I do it, but Raymond wouldn't. And so I just had to go through so many tables and you'll see, it just keeps going, man. There's just, there's no end. But I did find something that I settled on pretty soon. Enjoy. I should have done slow pans around the room, but I didn't. Um, but here is the finished product for Raymond's little studio apartment. While I get started on lollies, I, okay, so her theme is gonna be kitchen because she has that like big kitchen island in her default house. So I wanted to give her a kitchen, but cuter, and it definitely works out just 
keep an eye on that while I talk to you. But if, just humor me here, if Raymond the cat were an office character, which one would he be and why would it be the intern guy? You know what I'm talking about? He just, yeah, those vibes. I can't remember his name right now, but that guy, the temp, there it is, the temp. I don't remember his name though. Anyway, I don't even, I don't even enjoy The Office anymore. Like it was cool to watch one time. I'm not one of the like people who is obsessed with The Office, but I just thought it was funny because Raymond could definitely be a character there. Also, hot take, not trying to start any controversy, but I don't think Raymond is overrated. You know what I mean? Like he's cute. He's just a cat with two different colored eyes and he has little fangs. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with him. He is just a baby. He does not understand what the hype was like in real life for him. So yeah, respect for Raymond and I hope you're enjoying this little kitchen coming together. I was working with some symmetry here. It's not 100% symmetrical or anything. I feel like that would be weird for a whole house kitchen. But yeah, so I don't give her a bed or anything. She just gets this enormous kitchen because that's what she deserves. Not that she doesn't deserve rest. I'm just gonna go. Enjoy for now. We're coming up on the end of this build today. If you haven't already left a comment, please do tell me which of the cats in this video was your favorite. Just to recap, we had Kiki, Rudy, Raymond, and Lolly, all four definitely cuties. I keep leaving Bob out of the cat gang on this island. He's just like his own entity. He's like a deity in Animal Crossing. I really love the way this turned out, by the way. I wish I had a kitchen like this in real life. How cute. With all of that said, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe even got some inspiration for it. I don't know. I feel like Animal Crossing interiors are hard. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope that my interiors weren't ugly. Um, I mean, I know for sure that Raymond's wasn't. It was fantastic. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay. Thank you again. Custom designs are linked in the description. Discord's linked in the description if you want to join. Thank you. That's all. <laughs>